So hello everyone. I know it's been late uploading the today's videos, but since I'm traveling this week, so I guess this uh, uh, that the shift in the time will occur for one week. But yes, today's question was very simple. So let us see what the today's question is about. It's the making the array beautiful, and the tags here are array and stack, right? Okay. So uh, if you have read the question, able to solve it well and good, and it's actually a very easy and a basic question. So what it's saying is that you have given an array of positive and negative integers and if two integers have the different signs we have to remove them right and i just have to return the uh, final array we have to iterate from the left to right so let us see okay let me see if the recording is working or not uh, yes it's uh, working right it's working yeah okay so how can we do it's a very simple question here so uh, since uh, uh, the code has a return type as array list. If I'm not wrong, it's array list, right? Okay, so we can stack se bhi kar sakte the. Like uh, stack, me kya karte ki we put the first element, let's say two, right? And whenever we come, uh, then other element is two, right? So both are positive. So we'll put this again two again, right? Then the next element would be minus two. So we'll check if the current element and the st dot p element, right? That is the, the top element of the stack. If it, if it has the different signs, right? Then for this current element, we pop the st dot p, and then we go for the next element. So next element will be one, and one and four will have the same sign. So we'll push it right, and the stack will have now your answer, but in the reverse order. So pop it out from the stack, and then reverse it, put it into an array list, and return the array list, right? <coughs> but ये क्या हो जाएगा कि हमें एक array list भी बनाना पड़ जाएगा, and then we have to make a stack as well, array list because the return type is array list, right? So can we do something the same thing using the array list as well, right? वो कैसे कर सकते हैं? let's say we have uh, the element 4 right so in the array list let's say we have this array list we will put the 4 here right right <clears throat> and then the next element that is for i equals to 1 element would be 2 right so we will compare that this last element and how can we access this last element we can access it by saying that l dot get l dot size minus 1 we will access the last element of the list right and we will check it with the current element that is the array of i and how are we gonna check it? So let's say this is x and this, let's say this is y. So we'll just include a if statement, right? The both should have the opposite sign. So let's say if x is what? Greater than equals to zero, then b should be less than zero. And similarly, a y should be less than. And similarly, x if let's say, <coughs> x is let's say less than zero, then uh, y should be greater than equals to zero, right? This equals to sign is also mandatory. If you'll not uh, do this equals to sign, then you will get some test cases. I have tried it, so that's why I am mentioning it before. Okay, so that would be it. So you can see that the two will have is not having the opposite sign. You so you will push the two here, right? So for i equals to two, the next element would be minus two. It will then again use this if statement, let's say, and it will compare with the minus two. We will compare with the last element that is two, and you can see that the uh, it's the uh, the element now have the opposite sign. So you can just say that l dot remove, right? L dot remove L dot uh, the last element right L dot get off uh, again L dot size minus one and all right so let me write the exact thing so uh, we can just say L dot remove L dot get off L dot size minus one we'll 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 see it more clear when we write the code but I hope you are getting the logic right so we'll remove this element from the array list and then for i equals to three the next element would be one and it will be compared with the last element in the array list that is four it will be compared with four and since both have the same sign so one will be pushed into the list and then the list will have the same answer right so i highly recommend you to stop this video here to pause this video and try to try to code this pseudo code yourself right and the time complexity of this approach would be since you're using just one traversal o of n and since we are using an array list right to do all the operations so the space one will also be o of n right and since the constraint i guess uh, what's the constraint given here? The constraint is 10 power 5 and since we are coding the solution in O of n, right, so O of n will be nothing but 10 power 5 which is definitely less than 10 power 8. So if our code and logic is right, which will be, then it should it should not give us the TLE and our code would some uh, successfully submit it. So please pause the video here now and then try to code it yourself, right. Let me pause the video from my, from my end also and then we will start ahead. So yes, let us resume again and we can see the code now. So I have done the same thing, including the first variable n equals to array dot length, right? And you can see we have run a for loop, and I'm just checking that uh, if the current element, right? That if the size is not equal to zero. For, so for the first element, the array list will be empty. So it will again go. It will uh, automatically fall into the s case, and the first element would be 
uh, pushed into the RLS. And for the second, uh, for i equals to n one onwards, it will check that the RLS is not empty, and we'll keep on comparing these conditions, right? With the last element, right? And with the current element, it just checks if both has the opposite signs. And this equals to zero is required because at some times you may see that the current element is zero, and when when you multiply it with the uh, previous element, the last element in the array list, the product, uh, uh, it uh, when you see that the zero will also has to take care of that, right? So, okay. So ये just ये कोई तो zero बस वही compare कर रहा है कि अगर कोई zero है case तो हमें उसे भी handle करना है and then last we just have to move the last element and yes we are good to go so let us hit the submit button and we will see for ourselves so great all the test cases have been passed successfully let me show you the C plus plus code as well we will we will make the video for this one week very crisp and very brief right so that's the C plus plus code you can run the same thing. So that is it. Let us end this video here and we'll meet again in the day 169. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye and take care.